Competency-Based Education, or CBE, is a trending topic these days, and many higher education institutions across the nation are pursuing the creation of CBE programs. Kirkwood is no exception. You are likely participating in this training because you either have a general interest in competency-based education and or you are being tasked with developing a or facilitating a competency-based course or program. This training is competency-based and it's intended to give you the necessary information and tools to get you started down the path of competency-based education. It is also designed to be a model for how you might structure a CBE course that you develop. In addition, participating in this training will hopefully give you the chance to experience competency-based learning from the perspective of a student and give you some insights into what students might experience in a competency-based course. A course that is built on CBE principles often has differences compared to more traditional courses. Since this might be your first experience in a competency-based course, please allow me to explain some of the features and expectations of the training. First, all of the materials, activities, and assessments in the training are open and available for you to access. Feel free to explore the talent shell to get a feel for how the training is organized. Although you may jump to any portion of the training at any time, it is highly recommended that you move through the content in the order that it is presented. Although some CBE courses are designed so that modules can be completed in any order, the modules in this training were purposely organized to be completed sequentially. Next, the content for the training is structured around a set of competencies. The competencies describe the knowledge, skills, and abilities that you will be acquiring during the training. Your job is to ultimately demonstrate proficiency on the competencies. You will do this by completing objective and performance-based assessments that correspond to each competency. The assessments range from completing short quizzes, to responding to reflection questions, to creating artifacts for submission. As you work on each assessment, you will receive feedback to help guide you towards sufficiently demonstrating your knowledge and understanding of the content. As you prepare to jump into the content for the training, Take some time to initially familiarize yourself with the competencies. In order to complete this training, you will need to demonstrate proficiency on all of the competencies. This means that you need to successfully complete all assessments at the proficient level. Suppose that you submit an assessment artifact that does not meet the expectations for proficiency. In this situation, you will receive detailed feedback about the work and the next steps for making improvements. You will then have the opportunity to revise the work and resubmit the artifact. One of the hallmarks of a competency-based approach is that you are given the opportunity to continue working until you demonstrate proficiency. For each assessment in this training, you will be allowed to resubmit work as many times as necessary, within reason, in order to reach proficiency. Grading in a competency-based course is different than what you might experience in a traditional course. In this training, traditional letter grades, points, and percentages are not used. Instead, the following rating system will be used. Exceeds, proficient, approaching, needs work, and no evidence. Rubrics corresponding to each performance-based assessment are provided to describe the expectations associated with each rating. The gradebook will reflect those ratings as well. Points and percentages will not appear. Instead, you will see a color-coded rating for each assessment. If the overall rating is exceeds or proficient, you know that you have successfully completed the assessment and demonstrated proficiency. If the rating is approaching, needs work, or no evidence, then that is your indication that revisions are needed and resubmission is required. Again, all assessments need to be completed at the proficient level in order to complete the training. This training is completed online, asynchronously, and is self-paced. 
In addition, there are no set due dates for completing assignments. This means that you are free to work as quickly or as slowly as you like. This flexibility allows you to spend as much or as little time as you need on each portion of the training. This is one of the benefits of a competency-based approach. If there are certain parts of the content that you already understand, you are free to move faster and complete the corresponding assessments. If there are certain parts of the content that you are unfamiliar with, you can spend more time engaging with the instructional materials before completing the assessments. If you are looking for some guidance, though, about how to schedule your time, a pacing guide is provided. The pacing guide lays out a suggested timeline for completing various activities in the training. Ultimately, the pace is set by you, but the pacing guide might be a useful tool for planning and scheduling. Feel free to use the pacing guide as you see fit. Another characteristic of competency-based education is the ability for you to leverage your prior work and life experiences to help you accelerate through the training. Sometimes this means that you can test out of certain portions of the training, skip over particular activities, or use previously created artifacts to meet the requirements of a competency. Every CBE course is a little different when it comes to how you apply your previous experiences. The primary way that your prior experiences will impact this training involves what you already know about the content. For example, if there is a particular topic that you already understand, you will likely be able to skip some of the resources and proceed to the corresponding assessment. Decisions about how you move through the content based on your prior knowledge and experience are up to you. It is important to note, though, that you must complete every assessment in the training in order to finish. If you have any questions about this, please be sure to ask. Finally, this training is designed for you to move independently through the material. It is important to note, however, that you are not alone in the learning process. I am here to help you in any way that I can. We will communicate a lot via the feedback on the assessments, but I am also here to answer questions and to discuss the various topics. Please do not hesitate to contact me with any questions, comments, or concerns. Be sure to post questions and comments in the discussion forums that are found throughout the training as well. This training does not have a set start date or end date, so there may or may not be other participants working through the training at the same time as you. If others are in the training, don't hesitate to reach out to them. Check out the Introduction and Cafe discussion forum to see who else has been in the training, and don't be afraid to network with those folks as well. As you can probably guess, a course designed on the principles of competency-based education often looks much different than a traditional course. Pacing, assessing, grading, applying prior life and work experience, and so on all take on unique characteristics within a CBE course. And each CBE course has its own variations and idiosyncrasies. This training is no exception. Hopefully, this introduction has given you some general insight into what to expect as you participate in a competency-based course. Best of luck as you complete this training.